Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. So in this video, there's not going to be an intro. I want to talk to you guys really quick about YouTube. YouTube has kind of been getting upset with me because in a lot of my videos, I reference different gun parts or I reference um, holsters and different gun companies and stuff like that. And YouTube is really not a fan of YouTubers um, putting that kind of material out there. And at first it was all about... Don't show how to assemble, disassemble, how to make a gun, put guns together, do all these things. And it's essentially turned into, if there's a gun in your video, as far as on the YouTube side is concerned, those of us who do this for fun, but it's kind of fun to make a little bit of money on the side, it's become an issue. And that's not your guys' issue, but it was just something I wanted to bring up. Sometimes they don't want me, or most times they don't want me talking about companies and uh, gun accessories. So with that being said, this episode is actually brought to you guys by Contro Valley Custom Kydex. So if you guys have any kind of custom gun or have a gun that's just not as common and it's harder to find holsters for, go check out Contro Valley Custom Kydex. You can find them on uh, Facebook, you can find them on Instagram, or you can go directly to the website. It's cvckholsters.com. I'm telling you guys, I have multiple guns, and you guys have seen my videos. I have Glocks. All of my Glocks, except for one, are fully customized. Um, I put lights on them. We put different sights on them. We do different triggers, different mag releases. All these components that get added to the gun that just don't fit in your standard run-of-the-mill cookie-cutter holster. Now, there's nothing wrong with those holsters. I've run those holsters, and I still have some of those holsters. But when it really comes down to it, because I customize my guns, I need custom holsters to fit those guns. As well as, I have a couple guns in there that just aren't everyday carry guns. Um, there's some guns in there that just aren't very common. So when I have a situation like that, I reach out to Contro Valley Custom Kydex, and they make me some holsters that fit all of my guns. So go and check them out. They're a small business, all handmade holsters. Everything is made to perfection to your specifications. So go and get you a Contra Valley Custom Kydex holster today and be the envy of the range. With that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys about other sources of income. Things that I do is I talk to different companies. I reach out to them. I make my own merchandise. For those of you who haven't seen this shirt, I posted this a couple of weeks ago. This is the latest and greatest for the JLV86 merchandise. And... Um, if you guys want to support the channel, that's how you go about doing it. I'm not going to worry about YouTube getting mad at me, and I'm not going to censor what I say as far as the type of content that I put out just to appease somebody else and to try to make money doing this. I started making these videos because it was something I like doing, and that's something I want to continue to do. So, in this episode, I know it took me a few minutes to get to this point, but in this episode, I want to talk to you guys about my latest gun purchase, right? This is totally different from all the guns that I've had. This is my first like purchase that I made. I had guns like this when I was younger um, that my stepdad owned that we, you know, it was like, hey, this is your gun. We'll go out, we'll go shoot, we'll do this type of stuff. But this is my first time purchasing my own gun like this. This is the Savage Axis. This is the Gen 1, not the Gen 2. And there's really nothing too spectacular about this gun. But the reason I'm making this video is because I like to keep you guys in the loop about what I'm purchasing, what I'm doing, what's going on. And the plan is this year, I say plan because it is a plan, but with all this whole pandemic and everything that's going on, we'll see what kind of restraints they put on us. But the plan is for this year to go out and go hunting. And at some point, I'd like to bring you guys a hunting video. Now, I'm not a professional hunter by any means. I actually haven't hunted in... I don't even know how long. I, I was very, very young the last time I went out hunting and actually shot and killed something. But the plan is to go out and hunt this year, and that's why I bought this from a buddy of mine. And I'll get to that here in a second of where I bought this, where you can buy something like this, and where you can get yourself some quality used firearms for a really good price. Again, not going to worry about what YouTube has to say. They're probably going to be upset with me that I'm pointing you guys in this direction, but it is what it is. Like I said, this is the Savage Axis Gen 1. This is chambered in 30 out 6 There's nothing in it right now. It's an empty mag. Um, 
there's nothing like I said too special about this gun. It's it's essentially bone stock. It's got a Bushnell um, scope on it, and it's got a Cald Caldwell bipod. Just kind of basics, something that you know I feel like I was gonna need. And 30 out six, again, not too familiar with the round, but 30 out six will take out anything that you need to take down in North America at least. Um, 30 out six is one of the most sought after or, or most famous rounds and um that's why i kind of went 30 out six there's a bunch of other rounds out there a bunch of different calibers that would have done the same job um if not maybe sometimes even a better job but this is something that i shot as a kid i'm, I'm fairly familiar with the 30 out six round so that's why i wanted to keep it 30 out six plus i got a really good deal on this gun so i just could not pass it up so the plan is i'd like to take out at least a deer this year to have some deer meat if we get lucky maybe we can go out there and do a pig hunt and try to line all that stuff up so we'll kind of see how that goes so if you're looking for something like this you can go all over the internet these things are fairly inexpensive this is a very good entry level hunting rifle okay this isn't anything special spectacular i mean you're going to get your money's worth out of it and it's going to do what you need it to do but this isn't going to be your your precision, you know, chassis rifle, like, it's not going to be anything too, too crazy. But, if you guys are looking for firearms, and right now, of course, everybody's looking for firearms, so there's a shortage on almost everything. But if you want to look at, at some used options, I want to point you guys in a direction. A buddy of mine's dad started a, a, a gun company or bought a gun company. And it's through Guns America, right? There's no actual storefront, but you can go to GunsAmerica.com and all these different dealers and FFLs have posted all of their inventory. Now, you can go on there and you can search anybody's inventory, but if you want to help this guy out, he's doing something amazing. He has excellent prices. Go in the search bar and search CBH Arms, and it'll give you an entire list of all the guns that he has necessary, at least on the website. He does have more guns kind of in his warehouse that he hasn't posted and he's kind of trying to get ahead of all of that stuff but it is something that he's doing now this is kind of his this is his full-time job and again great service you can go on there read all the reviews and read how excellent the service is um how quick you get the guns all that kind of stuff and again quality firearms i got to go over there and i was going to shoot a video but we just didn't have a lot of time but i got to go over there and i got to open multiple saves and just look at all this inventory and there's everything from handguns to rifles to shotguns to custom pieces to just basic pieces I mean there literally is something for everyone so if you guys are searching for a firearm go check out gunsamerica.com and in that search bar type in CBH arms so tell me what you guys think of this rifle was this a decent purchase like I said in my head it was because I didn't spend a lot of money I'm not an av avid hunter so I'm not trying to go out hunting every single year or every weekend or every month or every season whatever the case is but it's something i would like to try to start getting into slowly so i feel like this was a like i said a, a great entry level rifle to go out and hunt is there anything i should do to this rifle like i said it's got a basic scope on it a basic bipod there's nothing spectacular about this this is kind of your run-of-the-mill generic i want to go out and kill you know an animal type of rifle so let me know what you guys think of this rifle like I said, this episode was very short, very straight to the point. Again, go and check out Concho Valley Custom Kydex. The thing that I forgot to mention is during this pandemic, everyone is wearing masks. Masks are required, at least here in Texas, in a majority of places that you go. And whatever your thoughts are on masks, or whether or not you want to wear one, or whether or not you feel like it's helping or hurting, that's not up for debate right now. What I will tell you is that Concho Valley Custom Kydex, if you go on their website cvckholsters.com you can actually get custom masks that has the cvck logo really big on the side of it so if you guys are interested in that go and check them out all that money like i said goes to support a small business an amazing small business in my opinion it's growing he's trying to get ahead of all these these orders but it has become such a popular deal as far as the quality and the, the type of holsters that he makes that i mean everybody is seeking his products right now so if you guys are interested go and check them out let them know that you saw my video we always kind of get a kick out of that to see kind of where you guys are from where you guys are ordering from and you know what kind of orders you guys are placing 
and to know that you guys saw it here on YouTube. So he doesn't do any kind of advertising for the most part other than Facebook and Instagram. I try to spread the word because it's a product that I've used for years now. Amazing customer service and I've had zero issues with my holsters. Anything that's happened to those holsters, it's all been because of something that I did and then the great customer service that he provides, he's been able to fix every single one of my holsters to no cost to me. Just amazing. I have nothing negative to say about Concho Valley Custom Kydex. So go and check them out, get you a custom holster. And if you're looking for a used firearm to put in that holster, go to gunsamerica.com and search CBH Arms to get you your next used firearm. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.